Hi guys, my name is Mark Johnston and I do STEM education. In today's video, I'm gonna do a follow up to the line color counting algorithm. This is gonna be level three and uh, a lot of people have asked for it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. The guidance subsystem uses deviations to generate corrective commands to drive the missile from a position where it is to a position where it isn't. And arriving at a position where it wasn't, it now is. All right, here we are at vr.vex.com. And I'm going to go ahead and click on activities. And then we're going to go to the color counting uh, algorithm. Okay, so that's this one right here, color counting algorithms. And the one that's been getting a lot of requests that I hadn't done a video on is level three. So let's look at level three. It says using starting point D. So that's this right here, starting point Delta. Program the VR robot to count and keep track every time it sees a new line. Once the VR robot reaches the end of the playground, Use the print console to display the following information. Total number of lines, number of red lines, number of green lines, and the number of blue lines. So really we're just going to be setting up some variables and then we're gonna store information in those variables once we come across that uh, on the playground in the map, okay? So let's go ahead and go back over to VR. And I'm going to click on playground. Let's get that opened up. So I'll go to the uh, line detector playground, which actually I was already there. And then we want to go to D. There it is. All right. So at this point, I do know that I want the robot to drive all the way across the field until it hits that end part. So I'll simply go to control. And I'll put a repeat until, then go to sensing until left bumper is pressed. I can be left or right, doesn't matter. And then while that left bumper is not pressed, I'm going to drive forward. And then, of course, when it is pressed, I'm going to stop driving. So this is our basic uh, program here to just get the robot to drive all the way across. Let's go ahead and open the monitor. And then I'll go down here to sensing and I want to watch uh, a few values. So the down eye detecting these different colors, there's detecting red, detecting green, detecting blue. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't watch them all three at the same time. So why don't we just set it for green for right now? I can look at percentage. And so uh, brightness and percentage, this could actually be something I could use uh, to determine what color it is, honestly. Um, now, this is a virtual environment, so everything is pretty idyllic. Like, it's not going to uh, be affected by if I turned another light on in the room or not. So keep that in mind. When you're doing physical robots in the real world, uh, these detecting colors or you know percentage of brightness values they can be all over the place, okay? Uh, let's look at if the down eye is near an object. Maybe if down eye is near an object, we can use that as a kind of a trigger to record the information. So uh, let's go ahead and push play. And let me clean this up. Let's just look if the down eye is near an object. How about that? All right, I'll click play. And so it is not, detecting those as objects. So I won't be able to use that, uh, but let's go ahead and use uh, per brightness in percentage. And let's go ahead and click play. A less than a hundred is obviously something. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this information uh, into the, I'm gonna have it print into the print console. Uh, so if I go to control and I say if, and I'll say if the um, brightness in percentage is less than 100, so let's go to sensing brightness in percentage. If it's less than 100, then I want to print. So I'll go to looks. I want to print 
what the brightness and percentage is. Uh, and then I want it to go to a new line, set cursor to next row. But I don't want it to uh, keep recording. I don't want it to record again until it sees white. So I'm gonna say um, greater than 99, okay? So I'll go, I'll duplicate this guy right here. And then I'll say, actually, no, I don't want us. What I want is a wait until, All right? So I'll say wait until, and then I'm gonna say, I could say equals, I could say like wait until the brightness equals 100, but that's really not good practice. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna say until it's greater than 99. All right, like this. Oop, not 900, 99, okay. Now let's go ahead and start that and see what happens here. So as it goes across, oh, I need to reset, push play. Okay, so the first one, it showed, okay, I got an issue here. So I selected front eye instead of down eye, the common mistake. All right, let's reset and play again. All right, zero. And I'm still just getting all zeros. I think I'm saying down eye, and then I still said front eye. All right, really got to make sure we choose that uh, front eye or the down eye on all of those. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, 59, 30, 59, 11. All right. Now, this it could be a little bit deceiving because you're seeing the, there's whole numbers there but it's not actually a whole number. So let me show you when it comes to the print, sometimes you need to set your precision. Let's get uh, your our precision all the way out to 0 0.001. All right, we'll set that at the beginning. All right, now let's try this again. Okay, so a green should be 58.7. It looks like red is 29.9. And look, 29.9 .9 again. All right, so again, we're in a virtual environment. It's very sterile. If this was a real life situation, then this first red line might be 29.91, and the second red line might be like 30.5, okay? But because we're in a virtual environment, we can take advantage of that. Let's, let's go ahead and take advantage of that, right? Um, so what we'll do is we will record uh, the information into a variable based on what the number is. All right, so just, we're just gonna do it with a few if statements, right? Uh, so when that value prints right here, instead of having it print, I'm going to evaluate with an, uh, a bunch of if statements. This might not be the best way to do it, but I think it's just gonna be probably the easiest. So I'll duplicate, I need one for each color. So I'm gonna say, I have what? Red, green, blue, and do I have any black on line D? Let's see, I don't think I do, because it would have shown as a zero. All right, on row D, we have, yeah, just red, green, and blue. So I just need those, those three different variables. All right, and I'll do another if. So there we go. Again, we wouldn't want to do like an equals in real life. So I'm hesitant to do it this way, but I really just want to show you that you know, this, is a, this is a way to do it, All right? So we can just do equals, equals, equals. Instead of doing if detects red or if detects green or if detects whatever, I'm just going to show you that, that that's what we can do. Because we could certainly say, Something like, if down eye detects green, like this, let's just do that. Why, why am I doing all this equal stuff? Anyway, I just wanted to show you that the brightness percentage values are different based on what it is. So let's just do this. Okay, green, red, blue. Okay, there you go. And put that right. Here. Okay, so if, if the down eye percentage is less than 100, 
we know it's seeing some color. If it's green, we'll do something. If it's red, we'll do something. If it's blue, we'll do something. And then of course we will wait until it is seeing white again before it loops back around and checks for the next line. All right. Uh, now I need variables. So I'll go to variables. I, they always have this, my variable here. I'm going to click to rename it and I'm going to call this one num green lines. Okay. Just as a, I know what it is. I'll call this one num blue lines. Okay. And then third one, num red lines like that. So if uh, they're all going to start out at zero, which is kind of how they, they, they do. And if you click on this little uh, code tab up here in the left, watch, click on that. Look at how it puts your variables at the top in text. It sets them automatically to zero in the very beginning. So it doesn't show it in blocks, but it is setting your variables to zero for you. Um, so you don't have to say set uh, num blue lines to zero here at the top uh, at all. Okay, so we can get rid of this precision guy. We don't need that anymore. All right. So if uh, it's detecting uh, green, then I'll change the num green lines by one. If it is detecting red, I'll change the num red lines by one. And if it is the uh, detecting blue, I'll change the num blue lines by one. So we've got green, green, red, red, blue, blue. Perfect. All right. At this point, I'm just going to let it run and monitor those values. So I'll check those to see those. All right. And let's get our robot over to part D. And let's see, we should have one, two, three green lines, three red lines, and two blue lines. All right. So let's run it and see what happens. Okay, we added the green, it added another green, it added the red and a blue, added a green and a red and a blue. So uh, green lines, are there three? Let's double check, yes. Blue lines, are there two? Yes. Red lines, are there three? Yes. Okay, so final part of the challenge is to get it to print out that information. All right, let's look at the instructions again real quick. It says we want to print out the total number of lines, total number of red lines, uh, the number of green lines, and the number of blue lines. All right, watch this. I'll copy this. I'll come over here and give myself some space to work. I'll right click and click add a note. I'm going to paste the, that stuff there because I'm going to just copy and paste. I'm going to use it, make my life easier. I don't have to type everything out. All right, come on. All right, so I'm going to say looks. I'm going to say print. Uh, okay, the total total number of lines. So I'll get that one. Total number of lines, and then I'm going to print. And I'm just going to do the math right here. Okay, I just need to grab an oper a bunch of addition operators. Really, I just need two. And don't worry about that being like this one being inside of that side. Uh, with addition, you know, the additive property, it doesn't matter which order they get added in. Okay. Um, so what I'll do now is go to the variables and the total number of lines I know is going to be all three of these variables added together. So the blue, the green, and the red. And then I will put that right there. All right, just to make it look pretty, I'm going to go to the next row. And again, to make it look pretty, if I'm going to say the number of red lines, let's set the print color to red, just so that we can be fancy. All right, so I'm going to duplicate this. And let's see, I'll put this over here. Just trying to do this kind of kind of quick. Okay, so the total number, and now that we just say number of number of red, number of red lines. Yeah, we'll 
put that like this number of red lines and then grab the red line guy right here. I think I should put a colon and then make sure I have a space there. Same up here. I'll put a colon and then make there's a space after uh, number of red lines, set cursor next row, set print color. Okay. Now we're ready for the next one, right? So I'll delete this. I'll duplicate that, get rid of the red line one. Then what do they want next? They want a green. I'll do it in the order that they requested. G R E N number of green lines and put in green lines. And of course, if we're going to do that, let's put it in green. Okay. One more. Let's duplicate that. Do this guy, number of blue lines, change the text right here. I guess number of blue lines and we should print that in blue. Okay. So red, green, blue, and then for funsies, I'll go to control and I'll put a stop project right there. All right, let's take a look and see what it does. Open up the monitor, reset and play. Oh, oh, let me uh, put a clear uh, under looks. I'll say clear all rows in the beginning. Yeah, that'll make it nicer. Okay, reset and go. All right, cool. My console cleared. It's counting up the values for me or the numbers of those, those different lines. And then boom, total number of lines, eight, total number of red lines, three, total number of green lines, three, total number of blue lines, two. That's it guys. All right. So I hope that that answers all the questions that everybody's been asking me about this. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really greatly appreciate you clicking that like button. Uh, share the video with your friends and family and, your, I don't know, your pets and everybody on. You can also become a member and get access to videos like these a lot earlier. Um, you can also become a premium member. And we're going to start doing live streams for those folks uh, every month. It's going to be a lot of fun. But I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one.